everyone. I am now on my second camping trip. It's really beautiful out here, as you can see in the fishing pond. Much crayfish. And there's also two other bodies of water where I could explore. There's a natural pool, which then flows off into a little stream, which I saw it was pretty low. There are other years where the water was higher, but it's kind of low. And then at the bottom of the huge hill we're on, there's a little river where I've seen trout and like freshwater sculpting before. So you might check that out later. As of right now, I'm by the fishing pond and I'll see what I can try to catch. Now, actually, just when I arrived here, I saw a turtle on the shore, but then he went straight back out. But in here, I caught a crayfish. There he is. He is kind of small, so... Manu oh, and he only has one claw. But maneuvering him might be a little tricky. Oh, well, that's just the best I can do. Might as well go back in the water. I don't even know where he went. Yeah. Interesting. There's another one right there. There's so many in all these rocks. I did bring my waterproof phone case, so, but I don't have it with me right now. So maybe later I can show some water water fluidity to these guys. Now I'm going to go to the other side. So this little area here is where I would generally see frogs and newts, especially in this tiny corner over here. I hope I can see something. Careful. Oh my, surprisingly this area looks pretty devoid. I don't see a single newt over here. That is disturbing. Hopefully I can find something. So far, I've caught nothing but crayfish. Here's one here. I actually caught a couple, and this little one too. But man, seriously, I'd be really disappointed if I don't find any newts. And this is why you want to be careful with crayfish, because they can go pretty far reach. Look at that, it's just backing up all the way down there. Well, here's the water. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. There we go. He's in the water. Back up. Back up. <laughs> there he goes. I just realized that all these plants here, that's kind of where the water would normally be up to. But it's kind of low, which is probably affecting the newts. I'm not sure though. Well, Pretty excited because this rock right here provided me with this nice two line salamander. Definitely looks like a juvenile because honestly, these guys should grow a little bit bigger. I literally just I had it in my hand, he kept moving. I needed to get water for him, so I poured water on him. And I needed to get my phone, which was charging, to record him. So it was quite a trip. Anyway, might as well just I'll place him on top of the rock. So I can try taking a picture. But man, for a salamander, they are fast. Look at that. I'll go take a picture. Honestly, they are pretty interesting. I'll just place them back under his rock. He's right there. I'm surprised I found one this far from a stream. Because the other one I found last week was in a stream. So that was pretty interesting. Yeah. Where? At the creek by our by my cabin. Oh, on the old camp site? Yeah. Anyway, he's back under his rock, which I'm so glad I flipped. 
hopefully I can find some other animals as well. I flip this little piece of wood. Let me just flip it back. And this is something I've been trying to find. An eastern redback salamander. So these guys, they are also along the salamander. But unlike the two-line salamanders, they spend pretty much their entire life on land. They lay their eggs under rocks and in moist logs instead of in the water like most other amphibians. They are called redback salamanders. However, there is also a leadback morph who will be completely gray. And then there are those who can be completely red as well. But this is your generic redback salamander over here. Eh. The problem with these guys is they're so thin and hard to pick up. Ooh, what, um, ah, I keep trying to bury through my, my fingers. But this is so cool. Literally two salamanders in practically the same area. <laughs> I like the cute way it crawls up my arm. Oh. I need to drop him. Pretty interesting though. Okay, well, this guy should go back under his log now, where it's nice and moist. The fact that they will leap from my hand when I try holding them is ridiculous. Did you find it? Oh wow, he's gonna bury himself in the dirt a little, but there he goes, nice and comfy. My little salamander. Just to be safe, in case I find any more salamanders, I'll record my flips. <laughs> That's practically concrete. Maybe this might have something. Well, a beetle. Piece of wood. Ants. Oh my. <laughs> I mean, at least I found salamanders. That's a good start. Oh, another rock. Eh, ants. I don't really think there's any other decent rocks to flip. Or pieces of wood. Found another decent rock. Let's see if I can find something. A slug? <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, that was a centipede. Let's slowly put this back. It's crazy how these so much stuff you don't realize it. I mean, these rocks all look pretty decent, but these would probably be be yeah, would probably be better snake rocks. Cuz I'd say salamanders would prefer just rocks on top of soil. This is just a tiny rock pile basically. If there were any small snakes such as ringnecks and red-bellied snakes, then They'd probably want to be here. And I would really like to find a snake, but I'm not sure that's likely. I already flipped that one. So I just flipped the rock this guy's on top of, and man, this is a decent sized adult redback. And this is actually right by my campsite, so I'm really glad I saw I flipped this rock. Because he is incredible. I like the nice, like, orange or somewhat rufous pattern on his back. It's incredible. Oh. Might as well go back under your leg. Oh, he just slid right, right through there. And just in case, this could be a potential rock, but... Oh, I got long legs. Let me. Yep. Pretty cool little guy. Got those long legs. Actually, that rock doesn't seem flippable. This might be a little more flippable. Nope, still pretty stuck in there. Now, it's pretty amazing that if you live in the right area with the right habitat, you can find. Plenty of eastern redback salamanders. I've been on trails before, and practically all I saw for amphibians or reptiles was redback salamanders. Literally nothing else, aside from bugs and all.
But nothing under this one. Yep, nothing. All right, more potentials. Aha, there's one right there. Just tucked away. Let me grab him before I put the rock back. Nope. Another one, that is incredible. See what I mean? There he goes. This one might have potential. <laughs> Unflippable. What about this tiny one? Eh, nothing. The problem is most of these rocks are hard to flip. Well, I came back to the pond and I caught another crayfish. I don't want him pinching me, but he flipped his tail. Oh, and now he might as well just go back in the water. Good for you. There is just so many of these guys. I'm right near the fishing pond, but I've managed to catch another redback salamander. Okay, well, might as well go back in there. There we go. Oh, wow. Literally all I've caught are crayfish, but this is a pretty big one, and it takes it to the next level. <laughs> all those little feet moving, and he still can't pinch onto me. <laughs> what is he doing? That is ridiculous. He is so big. And I've seen crayfish much bigger than that, but that isn't pretty cool. Well, it's officially quiet hour. It's dark and it's pretty dead outside. But here's a little two line salamander. I guarantee this is the exact same one from earlier. Legit. I need to pick them up. There we go. Pretty cool little guy. Now I need to flip the rock back over. Yeah. Okay. But it was just nice to see to see this guy again. Ah, I can't find him. Oh, there he is. Okay, you can go back under your rock. Let me try this piece of wood. This is where I found that redback. No redback.